Today on Experts Showcase Financial Educator Curtis May, and he's going to teach us that we can save money and decrease debt without having to give up our Starbucks latte. Curtis, welcome to Expert Showcase. Glad to have you on us uh, today's expert guest talking about financial issues. But give me a quick rundown of more or less the focus of what we're going to talk about in this episode. All right, Dr. Marquet, glad to be here. Uh, what we're going to talk about real brief is the is the how to how to you know increase your your wealth and decrease your debt without uh, you know without what I call in decreasing your lifestyle and uh, living in a sackcloth and having to have a bunch of garage sales. <laughs> well, that's good because we don't want to give up all those things and we don't want to live that way. It's so we're going to talk about yeah. We want What's that? lifestyle. This is exactly. America. We want lifestyle. <laughs> Absolutely. We're entitled to life. We're, we're entitled, right. period. So w when we were prepping for the show, Curtis, we talked about the fact that we're going to you know, kind of work our way through three focal points here. So the first key you're telling me is awareness. You're going to teach me a little bit about being aware of my money. Yep. And we're going to talk a little bit about being really focused on where the transfers of money are taking place. Right. And then we're going to talk about once we kind of have done that, how we can actually hold on to our money and actually save it. So those sound like very important topics for most people that I know, including myself. So let's start take it from the top. Awareness. What should we be aware of if we're looking to change our relationship with money? Well, one of the main thing is that, you know, I always tell people financial literacy is the ability to read numbers. It's basically just accounting. And so most people don't even track their budget. You know, what do you have coming in? What do you have going out? So one of the things I do with clients is I make them do that first. And right. I tell people it's not for me as much as it is for you because it's an old saying, that's what gets measured, gets done. Right, because you, you know you get a snapshot then. I mean, I I know it took a lot of years for me to get to that point where I was like, not just winging it, you know, from month to month, and finally actually sat down and looked at the numbers. So it gives you an ability to plan, right? Yeah, pictures worth a thousand words, and you can really look at, you know, the 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 two financial statements that work in people's lives right now are their income statement. Like so, if I tell people, if you think of your household like you're running a business. And everybody is, they're what I call the CEO of their life. So everybody has a personal economy. And so you can't control the economy, you know, the national economy, but you can control right. your production and your consumption. So you have to look at your prop your personal profit and loss, your income and expenses. And what I always tell my clients, if you can't control that, somebody will always control you. Right. They'll take right? care of it for you. <laughs> They'll take care of it for you, right? Because if you don't have a plan, you're part of somebody else's plan. That's and right. And then you have your balance sheet, which are your assets, everything you own, and your liabilities, everything you owe. And knowing the difference between the two, asset is something that puts money in your pocket, a liability is something that, that takes money out. So the first step is I try to get people aware of that so that we can see where the which the next step is where the transfers are occurring. And you you've talked about there being three kinds of money that people need to be aware of. What what do you mean by that? Uh, well, that's a good question. So three types of money are what we we talk to people about. There's accumulated money. That's the money that you have saved. Those are your assets. Okay. The second type of money is what I call lifestyle money. So lifestyle money is the money that it takes to drive what you want to drive, live where you want to live, vacation where you want to vacation, is is to in order to live the life that you want. That's lifestyle money. Okay. And the third type of money is what is called transferred money. Okay. And transferred money is, is money that you're losing unknowingly and unnecessarily. And you know the interesting thing is that most traditional financial advice is geared around either accumulated money, you know, and so you'll, you know, a lot of times you'll sit down with somebody and they'll say, well, you know, how much you got? How much you got, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, you know what, well, we can do better. You need to move that money over here to us, all right? Well, so, and, let's, so let's segue to that because that's, that's your second point really is that the key is to be aware of those transfers of money. Right, so let's get right. into those transfers and what do you teach people to look for there? Well, the transfers are, there's about 15, but let's say the top 10 are, or I'm going to give all 10, but um, uh, taxes, tax refunds, how people pay their mortgage, how people fund their qualified plans, you know, credit cards, how people finance cars, you know, the way they decide to buy their home, putting down big down payments. All of these things represent transfers uh, where you're just, you know, giving money away and if you were aware of them and really understood how money worked, 
you would or people would do things differently. And when we were talking before, you had a great analogy of a bucket, basically, and these transfers are kind of the leaks that you aren't really necessarily paying attention to. So you're focused on accumulating that, that money that's coming into the bucket at the top. But every time that you've got these little transfers, somebody's kind of pulling off a little slice along the way that's creating a leak in your bucket, right? Yeah, exactly. If you think of wealth, your wealth is in a bucket. There's two ways to fill the bucket up. You can turn up the volume, which right. is trying the to get income more going in. Income taking, you know, trying to take more risk by, you know, picking better stocks or whatever. Or how about let's just plug the holes, you know, <laughs> debt, you know, fees, um, uh, finance charges, you know, things that are just sucking money right out of your pocket uh, because, you know, and there it is not an accident, you know, they're they're <laughs> it's on it's by oh, design. You know? That's right. That's how they make their money, right? right? Exactly. <laughs> and so everybody has focus groups trying to figure out how to separate you from your money and most people don't spend uh, uh, they spend more time playing a vacation than spend playing their finances but everybody else is studying on how to separate you from your cash. I say look maybe you should think about this a little bit. That's right you might have better <laughs> vacations. <know>. Right. <laughs> you can't yeah. go on vacation without any money. So. The, the the bankers and credit card companies they're 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 having better vacations than we are and and that's why we got to pay attention to this stuff right using our money to do it with of course that's excellent well and that takes us to the third point really which is if you can learn to pay attention to these transfers you can start plugging these things up maybe you can actually hold on to some of your money exactly exactly so talk about savings and talk about well what you know so the thing is so let's say for example the example that we give people is is this is actually smart money management so let's say I have a client they're making seventy five thousand a year and let's say they're saving five thousand dollars a year now traditional advice has them focus on how can I get a better rate of return on that five thousand that's accumulated money right mm -hmm. and so just to get ten make five hundred dollars on that five thousand dollars you would have to earn ten percent okay right. which would be a little bit of a challenge in this market yeah and now let's say we look at the seventy thousand that's left over and let's say we could help you uh, restructure your debt or you could lower your insurance costs by raising up deductibles or let's say I had a client says well you know they're getting five and six thousand dollar refunds well you know that's your money so it's like a, that commercial get your money back well right. the, opportun the opportune thing is that your money and right. back that means if you, know, if you didn't give it away in the first place you would have it so if you adjusted your W-4 so you didn't get back such a refund you would have money that you could save right now and right. then what you do is you save it okay because right. if you just saved out of that seventy thousand one percent so let's say you found one percent of expenses which is seven hundred dollars a year mm -hmm. and you added that seven hundred dollars to the five thousand dollars that's the equivalent of earning fourteen percent right you just did bit so I, I couldn't couldn't have had it go off in my head as a as more clear than what you just described Curtis because you know, I, so I, I see exactly what you're saying so if I had invested that five thousand and gotten ten percent, I would have gotten the five hundred you were talking about. If and then if I'm plugging up these leaky holes and and saving that money, I'm actually making even more. And then of course, if I can do both, I'm a wealthy person, right? <laughs> and it's all it takes is to think a little bit differently uh, about how you handle your finances. It just starts here. It doesn't even take risk. It doesn't tell cost any fees. Absolutely. And that's why I love that you know you refer to yourself as a financial educator more so than like a financial planner or anything like that because uh, a lot of times those are part of the leaky leaky buckets there. Curtis, we can go on forever, but this is great. I mean, people need to get in touch uh, with you and get financially educated. You you just made a light bulb go off in my head uh, about the fact that I can get a better return by plugging up holes than than get, you know looking for those those better bigger return investments. So absolutely. Cool stuff. Um, so let me tell people, uh, well, let, let me wrap us up and then tell people how, how to get in touch with you. So we've been talking with Curtis, uh, Curtis May here, financial educator, about how, the fa how you can actually save your own money and end up creating a bigger return than the investment side of your money, uh, which is awesome stuff. We focused on three main things, being aware of the different types of money, zeroing in on those transfer points where often you're losing money to somebody else who's helping uh, lift it out of, out of your savings there and out of your pocket, and then holding on to that money, not leaking it out in the first place and potentially getting a bigger return just from the plugged up holes than from you know the investments you make with the, the uh, money you've been able to put aside to invest. Great stuff. Right. Right. So Curtis, uh, I know you have a website. Uh, people can connect with you at curtismay.weebly.com. 
Yes. And when they go there, you've got a report for them, which I believe, if I can read correctly with my fuzzy eyes here, is called Why Traditional Thinking Fails to Reach Its Goal. Did I get that right? That's correct. I think so. And that's so if they go to curtismay.weebly.com, they can get that free report. You're inviting people to connect with you on LinkedIn as well. So you're going to be easy to find there if we just search for Curtis May. Connect with them there. And when you connect with them, either through getting the free report or through LinkedIn, uh, Curtis, you've been very generous to offer to have a free consultation with people where they can look at whether they are retirement ready or not, right? Yes. You know, it's it can be, it takes about 10, 15 minutes, and uh, we can do it right over the phone uh, or visually, kind of like we're doing here, mm -hmm. and you know, kind of test your temperature of, of, of where you are, and uh, you know, kind of get to know each other, and and you know, go from there if uh, somebody wants to move a little bit further down the line. So, if you'd like to save some money and not have to give up your latte, get connected with Curtis May at curtismay.weebly.com. Curtis, thanks so much for being a guest on Expert Showcase. Dr. Mark, I appreciate you having me. Have a great day. And another great Expert Showcase episode. Chris, what should people do right now? Yeah, if you're watching this and you're a coach or consultant, imagine what it would do for you and your business if you were a guest on Experts Showcase. And here's the best part. Other than, other than possibly increasing your business, an appearance on Expert Showcase is free. We give you a copy of your episode so you can use as marketing collateral, and we give you a a coaching session to go along with it to, to tell you how you can best market your episode and other tips and tricks about your your business so what you want to do is head on over to expertshowcase.com click on the big yellow apply button and apply to be our next featured guest on the expert showcase now if you're a coach or consultant and you've already imagined what having your own internet talk show will do for you then we want you to head to videocontent.agency and check us out, check our packages out, and get in contact with us. Let's see if we're a good fit, and let's see if we're the ones to produce you and make you the next star and have your own internet talk show. And until next time, uh, Mark, anything else? I couldn't have said it any better, so uh, just do what he said.